Are you familiar with Stream? It is a video platform within Microsoft 365 from which you can cast video live or statically. With this lesson I will show you how to load videos into Stream and how to add captioning. You should caption videos shared with the public. Captions help when you are in a noisy gathering. Captions are essential strategy for universal design for learning. And captions can make content accessible to hard of hearing or deaf viewers. Uploading a video. Let's go and do a demo. Okay, I've opened up Stream and you will see that it gives me some choices right here at the top. One is to upload a video. So I'm going to click on that. You could also go to create and upload video there. So let's click upload video. Now it gives me the option of dragging a file or going to my browser. So I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go to my videos folder and I have a video in here about PDF accessibility and I'm going to open that up and I'm going to find the video. It's real easy to tell it's a video because it has these little marks here that are reminiscent of film. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click open and you can write in a description or put hashtags under description. You can put your name in here and you see it's processing the video as I speak. You see that it says it's finished processing. It says 0%. And down here, you're able to add a thumbnail for your video. So if you had a, an image for it, let's see. I think I might have one for this. Click on the plus. Go to pictures. And then I'm going to look for a snapshot. I think I did one. Here we are. Page numbering right here. And I click open and this would be the thumbnail for the video you can also set permissions to either groups or individuals and you have some different options but since the video is done that it's still not completely uploaded because I have to click publish now it takes a few more seconds and it's done once you're done uploading the content you can then share it by clicking on share you can start the video at a certain location if you want that part of the video to be seen by people. And then you can send this direct link in your email or share it on some social platform like Yammer. I'm going to close that out. This is where we're going to move into how captions work. The video has been uploaded and if you'll notice I have a area up here called my content and I drop it down and click on videos. So it says I have one video in my account and if I come over here to this pencil and click it lets me update the video details. You will see over here on the right it says options and here it says auto generate a caption file and so we have captions already but we could also upload a subtitle file for the video. Now Stream can put captions on your video. If you click on a video you can see that there will be a transcript already generated. The last video I showed you was captioned already so it already had its accuracy fixed. But in this case um, I have this little video here and right here it says diary but if I click on that, Bye, Rick. the woman says, Bye, Rick. And so you can see that there are issues in the captions if they haven't been corrected. Now, if I go back to my content, go to videos, and then come over here to the pencil, I can go back and upload the subtitle file. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn the tick off for auto generate and then I'm going to upload the subtitle file. I set the language to English. Then I click select file. 
and I'm going to go into the video folder for the Casablanca scenes. You see it says this PC videos Casablanca scenes and I have my Casablanca scenes VTT file. I click on that and I click open. Then the OK button lights up and I can click OK. And now an accurate caption set is now going to be uploaded into that video. If I go over to my content and go back to videos and click Casablanca scenes, The captions are now on a level of accuracy that is what we need. And that is how you get the captions done effectively. If you're looking for a free captioning tool to create captions or to convert video captioning formats, you might look up this product called Cadet. You can find it here at this address and this is what the web page looks like and you can see you can download it onto your computer. And I made an introductory video for you if you want to learn more about how to use Cadet to make captioning and this is my suggestion to you today. If you're not doing the captions yourself, you need to remember that if you have a service provider, they should provide the web VTT format only. And there are ways in which you can convert an SRT file to a web VTT file. So let me show you that. If you really don't want to do the captioning yourself, you can always use a provider. And if you're going to make sure that your stream videos have the proper content, you can convert it to the web VTT content. Here's a web page in which you can do it. I'm going to put the address down here. And then you see I just select choose file. Select a format. This one is an SRT file. I click on it and click open. Then I click the convert to VTT. Finally, I click on the download and it puts that in my downloads folder. So when I want to import the captions into stream, I just go to the download folder and find that caption. And that's all I have for you today on captioning for stream. Thanks for watching Points of Access with Philip White.